I'm not down bad. I'm just saying that if the fitness instructor wanted to pin me in the corner, I'm not reporting it. Guys, I first off, I'm sick as a dog. Okay, I'm going to be real. All right, I'm here so I don't get made fun of on the subreddit. That's the only reason I'm here right now. I probably sound sultry and and very sexy and i recognize that <clears throat> and i cough like a child but uh talking gets me very out of breath um but i'm gonna stream a little bit but before i do i wanted to show you guys something uh last time thank you sneeze snow for the 10 subs i cannot scream i will not do it unless you give more uh <clears throat> The thought of running right now, like, actually, it, it's fucking me up good. <clears throat> are you smooth with it? Can I tell you something? I'm going to be real about this. I know these are the most Mickey Mouse looking astro bullshit, whatever. God, I'm sorry. I'm like out of breath. But they, they're, they, they're dumb and they're overpriced and they're weird Chinese Pac-Man. But boys, they kind of look sick. I'm not going to lie. They kind of look sick as fuck don't they they kind of look kind of cool right like a little bit <coughs> i hate that i'm so sick showing you guys this but they drip bro look at they look so stupid look i can be coy i can be coy and i can also be like where's he going with it you know am i strapped what's in here clown shoes for a clown oh they aren't sick bro you got brain damage all right, also, I saved. <laughs> listen, listen to me. Listen to how wheezy I am just in my natural state when I get sick. You ready? You ready? <sighs> That's just, that was me just breathing. <sighs> uh, oh, dear Lord. Yeah, but I ain't going to miss the stream. I, ain't gonna, I am going to hit this for you guys because I wanted you guys to see it, okay? Because I know you guys want a cool, like, you know, uh, role model. Holy fuck, I'm so out of breath.
Taking a fat dab. Cheese. Give me a second. Okay. Just, I love just you, give. I'm not. Daddy fat sacks. Seven months wanting to kiss the green man. In watching child P O R N. I'm gonna punch my child. Yeah. That's a bunch. Ride of with the mob. Hum do Allah. Check in with me and do your job. Ferg is the name. Pinballer did the chain. Tono for the watch. Prezi plain Jane. <laughs> Yamagini chain. Rest in peace to my superior. Hermes Linga feed a village in Liberia. TMZ taking pictures causing my hysteria. Mama see me off BT and start tearing up. I'ma start killing niggas. How'd you get that track? I attended Harlem picnics where you risk your life. Uncle used to skim work selling nicks at night. I was only eight years old watching Nick at night. Uncle Psycho was in that bathroom bucket. Life to his gut. Oh, daddy don't cut him. Suicidal thoughts brought to me with no advisory. He was pitching dummies, selling fees, mad ivory. Grandma had the arthritis in her hands, bad. She was popping pills like rappers in society. I'll fuck your bitch for the irony. I said, meet you at your home if your bitch keep eyeing me. Ride with the mob, hum to our law. Check you with me and do your job. Erg is the name, Pinballer did the chain. Turn on for the watch, Prezi playing Jane. Ride with the mob, hum to our law. Check you with me and do your job. Erg is the name, Pinballer did the chain. Turn on for the watch, Prezi playing Jane. Suck a nigga, dick or something. Uh, suck a nigga, dick or something. Suck a nigga, dick or something. Suck a nigga dick or something I'ma explain why you probably never see me I'm in a sucking place, no Instagram, I'm watching TV I think I trade my breakfast, lunch, and dinner for some kitty Please believe me, I see Riri, I'ma eat it like Panini I go dumb up in the bra, hit the walls like graffiti Indian birds all up on a nigga wee-wee I think I need a full sum, Bella can do Gigi It be easy if we're easy, hook it all up on a Lizzy I go crazy in my Yeezy, Kirk Neezy on a beat I told him now we finna glow up in the street Rappers talk subliminal, but they don't talk to me. Put them in the jersey, show a like Pauly D. Ride with the mob, hum to our law. Check you with me and do your job. Herb is the name, then Baller did the chain. Turn on for the watch, Pussy plain Jane. Ride with the mob, hum to our law. Check you with me and do your job. Herb is the name, then Baller did the chain. Turn on for the watch, Pussy plain Jane. Suck a nigga dick or something. Uh, suck a nigga dick or something. Suck a nigga dick or something. Suck a nigga dick or something. Pro tip: Don't be a dummy. Bust on her tummy. I had a friend in high school. <clears throat> His name was Nick, and I remember in weight training, I was a virgin at the time. And Nick, I remember Nick told me, he was like, telling me about how he was having sex. And he would just, he was like, oh, dude, I just pull out. I would always pull out. Anyway, yeah, I fucked the shit out of Nick. <laughs> oh, my God. I made him come so hard. <laughs> no, I, uh, uh, he has a kid now. So I thought that was, I always found that funny. Uh, he's had a kid for a while. He just, uh, I, listen, I've, I've, I've discovered, by the way, uh, I discovered there's a lot like there is a weird did I pull out fuck no fuck no he said he likes to be filled he likes the feeling uh you know I there's a lot of adults I'm not gonna out anybody but there's a lot of people there's people I know who while I've known them which means in the last let's say between three and eight years we're all adults there's people I know that I've had to explain that the pull out method is not doesn't all it's not a guaranteed method i've had i've had i'm I'm not going to get into any more detail i've just i've had to explain that like hey that's not like i don't care if that's been working like better than not pulling out though okay but who are you listen my goal isn't what's the better my goal is no children right you know what i mean what people are saying it's carlos <clears throat> it works 100% of the time when done correctly. Dude, I got a leaky dick. I got a hole in that thing, you know? I got a leaky dick. I, 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 there's no, what do you mean 100%? My dick leak. My dick's so excited that it's being interacted with that it can't wait till the conclusion. 
Skill issue? Nah, if you don't got a leaky dick, that means you're not working with high pressure. That's all I'm saying. Let me ask you this. Any movie you've ever seen, right before the faucet explodes, what happens? Ask yourself that. Right before the faucet explodes, what happens? Is it sitting there? Is it dry? Okay. I don't know. Maybe kill yourself. I don't know. It dribbles. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Maybe go talk that one out with your kids. Okay. <clears throat> it remained dry. <clears throat> Uh, uh, I don't think I can trust any dude here defending it. Listen, I'm going to say this. I've spoken to both men and women in, in that I am friends with, uh, while as an adult, I'm not saying in the San Diego crew, I'm saying as an adult, I've talked to men and women who didn't realize that the pullout method is not the play <coughs> chat. The energy's low tonight. I'm slow tonight. That's right. It's because I'm obese. Thank you, <laughs> Big Mac and fries. <coughs> Thank you for the five. Uh, appreciate you. Thank you, uh, Dog from Damn Busters, for the five. I appreciate you, Bloon Quake. I'm not. I promise you guys that I'm not not excited. I'm just, man. I'm sick. And you know what sucks is I thought I got away from it too. The night that uh, Alex joined me on stream, I was like, I'm, I'm on an upswing. And then I woke up the next day and I've been pretty out of it. Yesterday was one of those dizzy days. You know what I mean? When you have like a really bad sickness and it's just one of those like everything is you, your head feels like it's a balloon where you, you've pumped it one too many times. I got sick as shit today. Yup, it was a blur. Yesterday was one of those blur days for me. And today I'm a little better. But my biggest thing right now is I'm just weak. I'm weak. I, uh, I, I mean, really, I've, I've taken, so I, I slept today. Or I woke up today at like 9 a.m. Not because I wanted to, because my body coughed myself awake, which if you haven't experienced is hell, is the worst thing ever. Coughing yourself awake is literally, it's like, it makes me want to cry. So I'm like, okay, I'm up now. Walked around, did my thing for a bit, and then I took a nap again, coughed myself awake, and now we're here. And guess what I'm going to do? Guess what I'm gonna do after this stream, baby? Cough myself awake after taking a nap. PTO approved? No, I don't know, but I wasn't gonna not show because there's some fun stuff to talk about, uh, and I wanna I wanna talk to you guys for a bit. And I always I will always say this. I, I would like I like to believe this. Uh, even getting on stream just to say I'm sick, if I can, I think that's better than just not. Now, granted, sometimes I've been too sick and I'm like, I'm not getting out of bed. Fuck y'all. That's different. You know, I can't help that. But if I can, if I can get on stream and I can yap for a bit. Hey, you know what, Wubby? You're doing better. great and you're working hard and oh, I'm yeah, honestly go, proud me. of you and you need to keep it, uh, keep it up the good work that you're doing because you're doing a lot of good work. Wait, you guys can't hear that? What do you mean you can't hear that? What could you not hear? Um, I'm not looking for praise though. I'm just here to hang out with you guys for a bit. Okay, new flavor of... Uh, Gamer subs arrived at my door today, and we're gonna try it right now. I waited to mix it right here for you guys. Oh god, it even makes things exhausting. Fuck me. It's called okay. I'm a little annoyed at Gamer Subs, bro. They told me we couldn't have our beautiful model because they said it was too inappropriate, right? What's inappropriate about the underside of her fucking juicy fat pussy? What's well, come on? But this new flavor, this is not my flavor. I don't know what it is either. We're going in blind. But look what it's called. My anime girl thigh. And I'm too. What are we drinking here, gamer? Gamer subs. What is it we're drinking? What? Is, what am I drinking? What is the flavor? <coughs> Orange creamsicle. Oh my god, I sound bad, guys. I don't like the way I sound. <sighs> okay. Okay. It tastes like a struggle. You suck. It tastes like I'm stronger. Okay. Here we go. Oh, that's dog shit. Bro, my flavor is way better. <laughs> that's going to be my new metric. <laughs> my new metric is, uh, can you taste? So, okay, by the way, for the boys, for the boys, everyone in the house already, including myself, I'm not pregnant, as you guys can see, not pregnant. So, there you go, not pregnant. Uh, it's not COVID. None of my, all my friends are sick. Uh, nobody tested positive for COVID. I'm sick. Uh did not test positive for COVID. Alex is not really sick. Didn't test positive for COVID. Booty's not sick at all. So he, I don't think he's tested, but <clears throat> I'm sorry. Like, listen, boys, I, I know I get shit on the subreddit when I'm sick and it affects stream, but let me make this as clear as possible. 
I would, I would, I would give 10k to a, a cancer child right now if it meant I could not be sick and just do stream. You think I like walking around the house with my eyeballs hurting? You think I want sympathy? I don't want sympathy. I want to not be sick. <laughs> I don't want an easy day off. I want to not be sick. <laughs> I don't want you to say it's okay, Wubby. No, I don't give. A f I just don't want to, dude. You know it's. You know you're sick when you sit down, and you're like, I don't even want to play video games. And you know what sucks? You know what? I'm gonna say it. I wasn't gonna talk about it, but I'm gonna talk about it. I decided to play some Counter Strike yesterday, okay? And I wasn't having a good time. I wasn't feeling good. I, I can't. Nothing's working. Okay, I'm dizzy. I'm slow to reaction time. I'm not. I play a couple games and I just get off and I go lay down. I'm like, I'm not doing too well. Okay. I decided to check my phone a few hours later. I decided, no, God, fuck all of you. You know how horrible this is? Okay, some of you already know. I'm not feeling well, okay? And you know what? Pretend I'm not even not feeling well. Sometimes, I want everybody right now, okay? You've all had a bad game. <laughs> I don't even think I deserve, this is not what I deserve. I didn't, when I, when I made a video about children shaking their butts on Musical.ly, this is not what I thought was gonna happen. So anyway, <clears throat> Six dog, get off, whatever. I didn't even think anything of it. I, uh, we, I won more games with my team than I lost, and I was like, but I'm not feeling it. I can't do this. So I log off. I go lay down. <clears throat> I check the subreddit, and what do I see on the motherfucking subreddit? A post that now was the top yesterday, 800 upvotes. I think I just carried Wubby in a CS match. God, he is ass. But that inventory makes up for it. And then he posted, oh, Jesus. He posted... A fucking screenshot of uh, uh, the, the post-game summary. I, I'm sorry, but this has got to be the most mean, out-of-pocket shit I've ever seen. <laughs> this is so mean. First off, I want to say, <coughs> have you ever had a bad game? Have you never had a bad... You want to know what's really sad? Oh, my God. Me and Carlos and Pina later that night, like late at night. Because my sleep schedule is upside down right now. I'm getting five hours of sleep four times a day. Not, not that, that's not true. Uh, throughout the day. And I was up late with Peanut and Carlos. And we queued. And we queued with a random guy. His name is Jimmy's mom. Jimmy's mom, if you're watching. Please. And I did great. I top fragged. I was, I was, I was hitting shots. And I said, he knew who I was. Oh, well, I'm a huge fan. I said, hey. I said, hey, can you do me a favor? And he's like, anything. I said, can you post a screenshot of this? <laughs> he didn't do it. He didn't do it. I guess what I'm saying, guys, is, listen, I guess what I'm saying is, if you run into me in Counter-Strike, can y'all just let me play or lose? Can y'all not come? Like, this is so mean. Like, this guy, you know what I'm pissed off to? This fucking Stendo guy. He didn't say a fucking word to me in game. I wasn't on comms, obviously, but he didn't say anything. I didn't hear him call out a single thing. He was just waiting the whole time. Dude, take the L. Bro, I want, okay, you know what? I'm going to say one thing. I want to show you, I want to say one thing, okay? I caught this post when it had six upvotes. Hand of God. I can prove it with the timestamps because uh, 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 I commented on it, all right? I could have removed it. I want you to know I could have removed it, but I thought, you know what? No, my community is going to understand. My community is going to respect the fact that my, <laughs> my community is. <laughs> what? But you guys turned it on me. You know what I hate, really? It's not even the OP. The comments are like some of the meanest shit I've ever seen in my life. It was like, apparently my entire subreddit is global elite. And have n and not only our global elite because that doesn't even matter. They've never had a bad game apparently. Uh, so that's cool to know. At least I know a lot of you guys can coach me uh, at, at some point. So I'm looking forward to that. <clears throat> 411 never forget. It's not my height either, guys. Great. There's a new meme now. 411. You know what's funny though, the guys. That's not even close to like my worst games. There was a game I played a few days ago. I was like 0 and 9 at the at the half. <laughs> It's just when you have a bad game, you know, all of your adoring fans aren't there to see it. You just move on. You chat. You have bad games and you just don't remember. You just move on, right? And then you have a great game and you don't remember. How many fingers do you have? The fuck? 
Who told this guy? <sighs> anyway, Chad, I'm killing myself. You guys have pushed me too far. You guys have pushed me too far. <sighs> we back, baby. <sighs> Man, I don't want to go. I got so much to talk about. So uh, I'm going to have to tell you guys what was stream's plan today and how we've called an audible on it. So let me explain. Um, oh, no, I feel a sneeze coming. And when you're sick, a sneeze like really fucks everything up. Oh, dude, I was. Uh, can I get graphic Stroking with you guys? I was blowing my nose this morning. 35 months. Go BRB to sneeze. Yeah, because when I sneeze, Detail guys, do, all this months. like base that's in my nose right now. Awesome it, it, let's just say this. It comes out when? and dudes with mustaches who have runny noses, you know, my pain, but my your pants. mustache becomes just a catcher. Right. It be, by the way, I'm going to be honest with you, gamer subs, uh, this new flavor you guys have, the, the anime girl thought, I think up. mine tastes like this, but is just better. On Thursday. My skin like straight is up, fire. blow your nose. I hate when people say that guys, my, I, I could sit here and blow my nose for the entire stream and it wouldn't stop. So I either go like this, or or we sit here and make blowing my nose say. the content. Oh my god, <laughs> I hate. I'm so probably so gross to some of you right now. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I sound so gross. Oh, I'm, I'll, I'll, I'll. Would you marry me? A hundred subs to blow Child your nose, go. bro. Fucking deal. Are you kidding me? What a stupid fucking More deal for you. <sighs> All right. Eight months. So Love tonight, you, uh, where is this? Okay, so we Boy put out Harvey. a. I gotta pause these real quick so I can explain. <clears throat> uh, I don't even care that much about my like congestion. It's it's I'm weak. Like I'm, I'm talking to you guys is laboring. I know that sounds dumb and lame, but it's the truth. I feel like tired talking, which I it's all I do on the stream. <clears throat> um, so today's stream was supposed to be chat suggests things on the subreddit and booty was going to uh get them all on a list which i have in front of me your suggestions and we were gonna do them on stream and last night i told booty i'm like hey i don't know if that's gonna happen so let's hold off and then i woke up today feeling also shitty but here's what we're gonna do so i i have the list here and i was gonna go over them with you guys and i was talking to alex today before stream and she had an idea so originally i was just gonna push this back to next week but when I was telling Alex that, she had an idea, and I want to know what you guys think. So Alex wants me to do a dubathon with her, where we do both of us are in a subathon together for like seven days, seven day cap dubathon. She wants to, and I was like, you know, I'm I'm considering it. I, we're figuring it out. So that's keep that in mind. I'm reading her these ideas that you guys submitted on the subreddit, which you can keep submitting, by the way, and I would encourage you guys to. And I was reading her some of them. Let me read some of them to you guys now to get an idea of what I'm talking about. So we do one stream where Wubby learns a new skill, tie a tie, juggle, knitting. Wubby does a waifu gamer subs tier list. Wubby story time. Wubby reads a story time children's book to chat. Birio cart with chat. Wubby must cook a steak perfectly to medium rare and then eat it. Devil's advocate. And it's a, it's this, game this guy came up with i liked it what and crew have a competition where they try to pick up different things with chopsticks in a set amount of time so all these little fun <coughs> sorry all these little fun ideas and i'm reading these to alex we have a bunch of them please submit more on the subreddit uh there's a thread with a submission form all these little fun ideas and uh alex was like hold on do you want to just do that on like a on a dubathon on a webathon we could do these and expand all of them for a dubathon uh and i was like man i don't know i'm like first off that was supposed to be today's lord content. have mercy i'm about to bust so i'm like here's what i'm gonna do i'm gonna talk to chat and see what chat wants because technically i am damn women be kind of smart I, you know it depends uh <laughs> So, Chad, I'm going to pass the question to you because I would be robbed. First off, today, uh, <clears throat> you get this instead of me canceling. I'm sorry. You don't have to be thankful, but just know there's no way. I was looking at that list, and I'm like, after the first one, I'm tired. I'm done with stream. It's over. So we can't do it today because I'm sick. So I moved it to next week when I'm healthy. Uh, and it will be next week unless, Chad, I'm going to let you have the option. You want to make it a dubathon. We do that for, I get suggestions from chat and we do a dubathon with it, which is a week long stream. Alex and I switching off positions on stream or like in front of the camera, or uh, 
And, um, okay, Alex said overwhelmingly. <laughs> Alex said overwhelmingly people would say the dubathon. Okay, Wubby, you said you'd never do a 24 hour stream. So the, here's the difference, guys. I don't have to be awake. In fact, I don't even have to be on camera half the time. I, I, I basically get to live my life and you guys get to keep it going with subs. And uh, yeah, I get to sleep. You guys get to watch me sleep, I think. I don't know how that's going to work. I, I don't know. I'm kind of ner ner <clears throat> I'm kind of nervous about sleeping on stream because I get fucking hard as a rock in my sleep. Now my peanut, my whole body stiffens and I, I levitate off the bed. And usually around 2 or 3 a.m. Booty has to come and wrangle me down. <clears throat> and he sucks my penis too. Um, towel on the pillow. You're weird for knowing that. That's weird, but it's true. I do sleep with a towel. Could end before seven days since it's a subathon. Just a note, Alex, you're out of your goddamn skull pick. If you think chat's gonna let this shit end a second, you know what? You're right though. If if it just dies after a day, that's kind of dope. Then it's like, well, bye. <laughs> um, mm, mm. we should do another media share today. Unfortunately, I can't do that because media share is this Sunday, and I do want to keep it. I will be better by Sunday, or at least a little bit better by Sunday, hopefully. And uh, I don't want to touch Media Share Sunday. That's going to be great. Media Share Sunday is going to be great. <coughs> Eat spicy noodles on stream. Hey, brother, I appreciate the suggestion. Please put it in the submission form, okay? Uh, are you going to watch shows with us? Only if you agree to cuddle. I don't know. Shut up. Is that what you wanted to hear? Dan only <coughs> noticed the $6 missing for the last 11 months. $6? Bro, are you months. subbed on mobile? What are you, Shh. an idiot? What is this clip? So it sounds like we're going to do that. Uh, Alex and I need to work out a lot of details of that. And that's something we're going to do. But I'm glad you guys are on board and not mad at me. Uh, there's nothing worse than being sick, not because of my fault, but because uh, Ash is gross. What is the, what the hell, is, what is this? From a bad boy to this. What the hell is this clip? I feel like subbing. I feel like subbing. What did Hassan like react to me? Like what the I fuck? Like this isn't going to be like good, subbing, is it? I feel like subbing. I wanted to zoom in on Hassan and just be like, this fucking... See, I thought it was too racist. <laughs> okay. I wanted to zoom in and be like this, and then zoom in, put like a caption over it, and then just upload the video on Twitter. So zooming in on Hassan and Will as they're watching the fight, and the caption would be like, this huge Turkish guy and his boyfriend just pulled up. <laughs> I'm gonna mute for Can you part. please turn down the AI voices and sound alerts? They're much louder than your audio, thanks. I'm just like, uh, I'll tell you, Austria. I'll tell you. I I, I, That's uh, it? What the fuck? I want to know what he was going to do. I was going to tag him in it. I can't stop looking at Child Poe right now, dog. So cute. <laughs> 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 Hassan, don't listen to them. They're just trying to cause beef. You're my Turkish delight, okay? You have Is he Turkish? You have nothing. Listen, don't listen to them. They're, and nobody here is looking at Child Poe, RN. <clears throat> We're done with that shit. No more Child Poe. But he did do 9-11. Well, we'll talk about that. All right. Um, I told him what the Child Poe was. Thank you. Thank you. So he's in now? Child Poe. I feel like I have to explain it every time. <clears throat> All right. Anyway, what were we talking about? Uh, yeah, so the dubathon. We'll probably do that shit. I don't know how it's going to go, but if you want to keep suggesting things, it looks like that's what we're doing with the dubathon. Um, add child po to the bus, please. Uh, whoever made the bus, you want to do that? That'd be dank. That'd be dank. All right, we have some docket things to talk months. about, and then that's Just really it. States and started um, a new hospital job. You start a hospital so job. Do you know that flight attendants months. are the nurses of the flying Oh my god, guys, can I show you something really important to me? But um twenty five months okay, hold on. all I got was COVID. Lamb. Uh I'm gonna show you guys something really important to me real quick, okay? I did something very exciting to me. I did something very exciting and I'm gonna show you a photo of it right now. Okay, I told you guys I've been getting into Lego, right? Not the my ego type. You know, I, was, I watched the Jimmy Neutron movie the other day. Dude, that's how you know I was sick. I just put on Jimmy Neutron Boy Genius the other day. Uh, and it sucked. All right. 
<clears throat> let's let's scan this real quick to see if there's anything that's like just my penis is out or something. Also, I started watching Beef. You'll see that on the TV. I don't know if I like it yet. All right, so I've been getting into Lego. And uh, the movie's terrible. Yeah, but I can quote it. That's the duck. All right. So uh, I got I've been getting into Lego, and I <clears throat> and I actually committed to building something, and I finished you it. You suck. And I want to show you guys that because I'm actually really excited about it. I know it's nerdy, and I know it's lame, and I know that DJ uh, doesn't have an appreciation of anything other than what he accomplishes because probably his upbringing wasn't always there for him. But I'm not projecting. I didn't put this in the group chat, and then DJ made fun of me, and then I immediately deleted it. Um, anyway, so here it is. <clears throat> You know, he always... Never mind. I was going to make it too real. Uh, uh, here it is, boys. Look at this. Feast your eyes. I'm so, You know, when I bought this, Peanut said, that's just going to sit there in pieces. Where are the pieces now, bro? Where are the pieces now? I think I did it in one week. Uh, and I can I be honest with you? I fucking... I made fun of Lego homies in chat before. I And notice how I'm not pluralizing it with an S. Boys, let me say something very clear. I am a Lego homie. I am the I am an I am a Lego fiend. I cannot stop. I've already <clears throat> What you want to look at the photos? All right, we can get we can really get into this if we want. All right, so we're watching Beef. Okay, as you know, we got my two fallen heroes here. This guy was just in a in a photo frame. No clue this you guys sent it to me. This is my friend Sam who lost his life in Pakistan or something. I don't know. He's probably still alive. We have a book on cats, uh, a little Build-A-Bear. I think a fan sent this in. This all fan also sent this in. We have the prize possession from the first episode of Odd Jobs. I think that's a baby wubby right there. <coughs> anyway, so uh, yeah, I'm all, I'm Team Lego now, dude. This thing is so fucking cool. Okay, you guys don't even understand. Okay, you guys don't you guys don't even understand. You don't understand. I love your tattoos. Thank you. You don't understand that this ain't no fucking game, bro. This ain't no game. You see these trees here? Each little green dot I had to put on there with my big old man hands. Do you see these right here? These aren't individual pieces. This is all built, motherfucker. This is, this is a, Lego is not simply something you do. Lego is a way of life. Do you see this like internal structure here? Do you, flawed piece, I'm done. <clears throat> these aren't single pieces, okay? This was a 10,000 piece Lego, I think. I don't know. But I worked my balls off. You missed one? Leave me alone, guys. Leave, leave me alone. Leave me alone. That's nice, honey. You know what? Thank you. The placement is off. Oh, boy. Here we go. Your peg placement is off? And you still got sick. Well, it, being sick was actually kind of helpful. The Rivendell set, though. Can I be honest? Can I give you guys a real... Here, I'm going to show you guys. The Rivendell... Rivendell set Lego. Can I be honest with you guys? I'm going to be honest with you. I like the set, and I'm probably going to end up getting it. But can I be honest with you? Let me show you. Let me pull it up here. Why am I on Macari? What is that? What is this website even? I just want to go to Lego. Um, let me show you, and then I'm gonna give you my review. It's a five hundred dollars set, so it's the same price as the uh, Eiffel Tower. I don't know what it is about it, but it it looks like it's like for kids. I don't know what I don't know how to describe it, but my light Lego Eiffel Tower looks like. <clears throat> I don't know how to, I don't know what it is, but this shit just looks like, and you, it's this, guys, it's the same price as the Eiffel Tower. This is the same price as the Eiffel Tower. It is not advertised for children. It's a $500 Lego. It's sold in the same black box that the Eiffel Tower is. It's like these sets that they're doing, right? But the problem is I look, and it's big, it's like, it's big, it's sizable, but it, it just look. I'm like, maybe it's too colorful. Maybe, I don't know what it is, but I... When I, when I look at my Eiffel Tower, I go, that looks expensive. And you see it in the house and you go, that's crazy. If I looked at this, I'd be like, hey, Lego nerd, did you get your pudding cup today? You weird tism. Like, you know what I mean? This just looks lame. I don't even know what, and I love, I love Lord of the Rings. It's all the little Lego men. Those are Lego elves. I mean, I don't know. Alex, maybe keep up. Don't be so stupid. Uh, <laughs> no, but you're right. It's stylized with the same colors as the movie. It's very bright. See, that's my thing is that then maybe for my taste, for whatever reason, it just doesn't look right. I don't know. I don't know. This could be totally accurate. This could be. It's cool, though. I'm probably going to end up getting it. <laughs> you know, is that Lego list? Now, see, that person needs to be VIP. That's crazy. At least it ain't French. 
I'm uh, the next one I'm gonna work on is uh, I bought a this piano, this like grand piano one. It's just so cool, uh, dude. I don't know. I'm a sucker. I think I'm like exploring a hobby of mine that I had when I was a little kid, and now I'm just back into it, balls deep. Guys, media share is this Sunday. Okay, uh, you better be there. I'm gonna be there. I'm hopefully gonna be well enough to get drunk with you guys. Media share is this Sunday. Be there. Be square, please. Mini man, thank you for five months. subs, by the way. This couch couple uh, you wobby. Say it back. Whoa. Mark Mansfield said, love you. Uh, I said, I don't and have a video friends. idea. Can you can you do me something for so can you do something months. special for me? Like, can you Let's just go. upload a video Thanks for all the two lives. hours long Moving of you staring at the camera one week. and pay for it all? Almost there's that'll smile. work for stream. <laughs> I think that'll work. Will Yo, that work for you guys? Yeah. We've never had someone dude. Okay. We've not okay, never mind. I'm not gonna people are gonna say it's bait, so I'm not gonna say it. Never mind. Sure, I'll do Love it. You, Thank you guys. Thanks for making the Thank dad you. go away for a little longer. <clears throat> D. You and Jerma make a great team. What's your favorite collab we did? Wubby, my dog is genuinely sick. Her name is Gypsy and she is getting surgery in the morning. Please oh, I'm wish sorry about your dog. Good Let's luck go to bubble. your dog surgery. Good luck. What price would you put on your dog's club. life? For me, I realized when my cats got sick, it was a few thousand dollars. <laughs> You guys say priceless, but then the doctor hands you the bill and you go, ah, you said, what did you say? You said how much? Uh, bro, you're so heartless. Uh, you know what's funny? My, my brother, actually, this is literally not funny at all. I pay everything to keep my dog around. Man. <laughs> Man, really? Cheeto's sick. Wait, hold on. Alex just said something. Uh, Cheeto's sick and pointing to his pee-pee is the saddest thing ever i know i know that was so sad but like it's not 20k sad. <laughs> <laughs> it's like oh no. he did his pee pee hurt it was hurting he had a messed up pee pee and i i nursed him back to help with my with my booby nipples the nurse was like he's sad and he's showing you what we did to him i know that was so sad and i could really empathize with him because it wasn't that expensive <laughs> Guys, I'm not heartless. I just this was a, so. Let me be clear. Let me let me, hold on, let me be clear. I, let me be clear. Let me be clear. This is a reality that I've never faced until my brother. The, okay, I'm gonna make the story really sad here. My brother had a dog named uh, Dog, and it was he had just got it. He was so excited for it, and it was this little dog, and <clears throat> and uh, very recently after getting him, I I met him. One, I met the dog one time, and I get a call from my brother, and he's like crying which is like hard you know you never want to see your brother cry and yes we're getting serious and and he he calls and he's like hey the dog is dying we're at the this pet hospital if you want to come say bye now's your last chance and i was like man we just queued bro no i'm kidding so i drove over there and uh get in and i pet little doggo basically this dog had like some like parvo or some shit I've told you guys this, I know, but you probably don't remember. Parvo? That's, or is that like a type of cheese? I don't know what it was, but it had some shit. <clears throat> and the doctors were like, you could pay thousands and the dog still could die. And I was like, well, what are the options? And, and so my brother ultimately was like, it's not like it ain't, it ain't, it could, the dog could suffer. There was all these factors. And then that's when I had this thought. I remember driving home after that, like emotional night being like, damn, like, What's my cat's life worth? It's a scary thought, right? Because there is, I'm sorry, chat. There, there is a, that to me, there's that, there's that line, right? Where it's like, he had to weigh those options. You know, my dog went through this and it, I paid thousands. Well, I hope your dog made it then, ultimately. How about my dog of 14 years? That sucks, bro. Please vaccinate your puppies. Parvo is uh, preventable. I think, well, I don't know the details. My brother is, he got another dog. He's responsible. He has children too. So I assume he's a responsible dog owner. Um, but I think it was the, someone he bought it from was not doing the right thing or something like that. I don't know. I don't know. Anyway, long story short. Uh, yeah, Cheeto's worth like a good five. I'd give Cheeto like a good between five and 10K a year, you know? Anything more than that, and I'm like, yeah, come on, slow. Like, what? Who do you think you are? My pussy hurts. Okay, little Miles. You know, 
Can I have 10K a year? If you walk around my house naked on all fours and poop in the litter box sometimes, I'll give you 10K a year. Fuck it, dude. Let's just torture some kid. How old are you? Come on. <laughs> deal? See, okay, hold on. Everybody pause. Every one of you motherfuckers saying deal right now in chat. Every one of you, you never get a talk if I ever, ever, ever sell out for a gambling sponsorship, okay? All of you motherfuckers, you guys saying deal for 10K to become a nude slave in my house? What would you do for three mil, okay? Come on, come on, come on. Thank you. Uh, Kitty21, thank you for the uh, five subs, brother. Cheers. Damn, I can't believe it's been 16 months child po RN. <sighs> Guys, stop with the child po. I shouldn't have brought that joke to stream. I should have known. All right. Months until two years. Do we even want to talk about the Herman Miller drama? Have you guys seen? You probably have already seen those videos, but I mean, it's crazy. No, Shout skip it. I can skip it. I'm I'm workers. tired, dude. I can Love skip you. it. I don't give a fuck. Whoa, whoa. What is it? You know, it's <coughs> to celebrate 17 months. Skip it. Fuck that. Cut. Whoa. I'll say, just explain it. The Herman Miller CEO or one of the higher ups was on a Zoom call and basically tried to rally the troops to work harder uh, despite their bonuses being cut that year. And she did it in like a awful, tasteless, soulless way. And it was recorded and then released. And it just reminded me, I, I use a Herman Miller. So, and I love Herman Miller, the, the products they make, but it just reminded me of working in an office. That way she spoke, I was like, damn. That's what it's like working in an office. Literally that same feeling of just like, hey, 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 we, we don't care because our bottom line, you know, we don't care. I'm a millionaire by uh, her bonus was four million. See, here's the thing, right? I'm 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 not. Don't don't call me socialist, Andy, whatever here. I'm all for the people at the top should make more and people at the bottom should make less and you should incentivize climbing ranks. I'm for that, right? But here's what I'm not for. Here's what I'm not for. One, the way she handled it was crazy. Two, hard disagree and you have every right to disagree. I don't give a fuck. That's fine. I believe in skilled labor and I believe in unskilled labor. But let me say this. Let me say this though. I'm not arguing with this with you guys because I don't care to argue it at all. Um, but if that bitch is getting on a call to do, to try to motivate people and tell them that they don't have bonuses and they need to work harder while taking a $4 million bonus, you're dead. You're stupid. Your bonus needs to be the first to go when times are tough. If you're going to get paid more and you're going to reap all the benefits of being at, at the top, when the ship goes down, you go down first. That's how I believe. So for example, right? If, if I'm employing people, I don't believe that they may, should be making as much as me, right? But if the ship starts to sink, my pay should be getting cut, right? Not everybody else. And I get on a call and say, work harder. No, no, no. So that's what I believe. Uh, you know, we talk about this so much. I feel like I got to show the clip now. I got, because you don't even know what I'm talking about. I got to show the clip now. But yeah, I, I'm not, I don't want to argue. Like, I don't think anybody's wrong for whatever they believe on how they think that money should be. I'm not going to argue that. I don't care to argue that. I'm not educated enough to argue. Dude, the new fucking thumbnail for the video is vulgar. The new highlight video is, I'm, dude, it's just me. You can't even see it. It's just me in a wheelchair and it says, help him. <laughs> okay, hold on. Uh, zo uh, Herman Miller Zoom call. Help him. Wait, it's, okay, here's the problem. I'm looking at all these. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Here, here, here. So this is her talking. So apparently, I'll let her do the talk. This is the Herman Miller CEO. <laughs> women. Right, Alex? Women. Women. Uh, all right, let's watch this. Questions came through about how can we stay motivated if we're not going to get a bonus? What can we do? What can we do? Some of them were nice and some of them were not so nice. So I'm going to address this head on. The most okay. important thing we can do right now is focus on the things that we can control. None of us could have predicted COVID. None of us could have predicted supply chain. None of us could have predicted bank failures. Okay. But what we can do is stay in front of our customers, provide the best customer service we can, get our orders out our door, treat each other well, be kind. She's chat. She's going to go mask off here in a minute. Be respectful. Focus on the future because it will be bright. 
it's not good to be in a situation we're in today, but we're not going to be here forever. It is going to get better. So leave. I think I think everything she said is OK. If then she ends with I've already cut my bonus and we're going to use that to distribute to you guys or, or whatever. I've cut my bonus. I've cut my this. I've cut my that. And if she ended there and went, guys, I'm, I'm cutting everything because I need to lead by example. So we're cutting it all back until we get back on our feet, because if you're not getting bonuses, I shouldn't be getting bonuses. If she said that and ended the call, I would have sat there and been like, this sucks. But hey, what are you going to do? Now, KBB Mamba, I cannot scream, my brother. I cannot scream, but I will say thank you for the hundred. I cannot scream. I don't know how to react now that I cannot scream. You've taken away my ability. <coughs> Someone says she's recklessly disconnect. Blow your nose for the hundred. All right. <laughs> This is so gross. No, this is literally going to lose viewers. No, I'm not going to do it. I'm really not going to do it. It's going to lose viewers. It's so disgusting. Thank you, KBB Mama, for the 100. I appreciate you, brother. Let's finish this. So right now, I'm like, okay, she could end it with saying she's cut her shit, too. Here we go. Lead, Lead by example. Treat people well. Talk to them. Be kind. And get after it. Don't ask about, what are we going to do if you don't get a bonus? Get the damn $26 million. Spend your time and your effort thinking about the 26 million dollars we need and not thinking about what you're going to do if we don't get a bonus all right can i get some commitment for that i would appreciate that that is so crazy holy shit it's like it really dude i'm sorry but when i say i believe in like I, I, I personally believe a CEO should be making more than someone just entry level. I believe that. I think people get the wrong idea because fuck this. This is not healthy. I, want, I, I need people to get the right idea about this. This is not good. So when I say I support that, I don't support this. In fact, I hate corporate everything. I did it for a few years and I hate it. I hate it. And this is, dude, it was crazy. This is so common. Oh my God. Anytime. Stop asking about getting paid and work harder. Exactly. As she's not taking any loss. She's, she got her cushy bonus. Like, dude, come on. Now, when I worked at the insurance company for a couple of years, the anytime corporate would be in the office, dude, I just wanted to not do anything bad. And I'm a good boy and I'm not threatening violence. But let me tell you, I thought about how I could get my car on the second level, right? And just go crazy with it. I'm joking in a video game. I'm totally joking. Obviously, I would never do anything like that. And I don't even work there anymore. So nobody has anything to worry about. I'm totally kidding. But let me be clear. When corporate would come, it was disgusting. There was a woman who was like the tippy top who would come. She wasn't the CEO or anything, but she was up there. And when she would come, we would have briefings the day before about how to act, how to sit, how to talk. And this was a major company I worked at. I'm not gonna say which one, but I'm, it's not like it's hidden necessarily, but I don't wanna get in trouble. She would, she, when she, she would walk up and down our cubicles and look at us and watch us and we would have to talk a certain way, would have to look, it's like if you don't have anything to do, look busy. And then here's the worst part. Every time this bitch would come and go, the next day there would be intense new micromanaging things that would be in play. In just all, and it's like, lady, oh, I just wanted to just slap the shit out of this person. Oh my God. And she reminds me of this. <clears throat> I had an old boss who said to me one time, you can visit Pity City, but you can't live there. So people <laughs> leave Pity City. <laughs> Let's get it done. <laughs> Thank you. Have a great day. Dude, th you know what this reminds me of? This is like, like, it's like when Kanye went all like anti-Jew. I'm like, damn it. But he has some good songs. It's kind of how I feel about sitting in my Herman Miller right now. I'm like, wow. I'm mad, but at least my back is supported. You know, at least my lower back is getting the support it needs. God, I'm pissed. But I've never been more comfortable. <laughs> God, she's a crazy bitch. Anyway, that's what I was talking about. Uh, you guys have probably already seen it by now, but for those who haven't, she took six point four million in twenty twenty. I mean, listen, listen. I, I'm, I'm, I'll be brave, and this probably isn't a popular opinion on Twitch. I think she should make more than somebody at a lower position. Sure, sure. But when times are tough, that's something that you take on as the CEO. So now that times are tough, you need to cut. You need to be the first to cut. You need to be the first to take the knee when times are tough.
You guys are saying brave? When I said that originally, chat was pissed. So it is. I think Twitch leans a certain way. And, and I, and you know, it. she should make a thousand times more. I don't know how much more she should make because I don't know what she does. But I assume that what she does wouldn't be able to be done by a lot of people uh, who just got hired. So she should probably make more than them, in my opinion. But when the company's having trouble, she should be the first to take a pay cut because of that. It's the risk uh, of, and it, it's the it's the weight of being the CEO. That's just my opinion. That's just my opinion. A thousand times more, really? I don't know. Dude, I'm not in their fucking financials. I don't know what she does. I don't know what she, I have no clue with a thousand times more. I'm not justifying that. Um, Cope harder, bro. You're, you're dude. <laughs> Your data entry is showing. Shut the fuck up. I'm also boycotting the $3,000 office chairs. I hate to say this, chat. I hate to say this, chat. But these chairs are fucking fire, dude. <laughs> they are so... They have, like, legitimately changed any back... Like, I used to have back issues on certain chairs. <laughs> these chairs... This chair... This is this is the Herman Miller Aeron? A Aeron or some shit? It's so good. Like, listen, I know that it, they're too expensive. They are. Buy secondhand. I got mine on eBay. Secondhand office was liquidating. Office liquidating sale. Bought mine secondhand. One third the cost. I'd recommend men do never buy it new. No, no, chat. Never buy it new. And that way there, you're also not even supporting them. Never buy it new. Is this an ad? I'm just helping my boys out. They're worth it. They're worth it. <clears throat> do you see the CEO praising a worker for selling their dog? Wait, wait, whoa, 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 whoa. Hold on. Did you see the CEO praising a worker for selling their dog for going back to the... Uh, uh, what does that mean? Chad, I just need to let you know real quick. I'm fading. You, I'm, I'm, you're, well, he's right, testicle thing with five. I'm fading. I'm starting to feel like the, the weight of this, but I'm not going yet. I got more to talk about. <laughs> Fader than a hoe. Fader than a hoe. Fader than a hoe. I almost unfollowed again. Mobile fuck. <laughs> Caffeine, I'm sipping on caffeine, boys. I'm drinking the energy. It's not sleepy. I need you to know, I'm not like, I'm not getting ready to crawl asleep. I'm like, I feel like I just ran a mile. You know what I mean? Just like the sheer like, uh, is this the clip that was being referenced? What is this? It was disgusting. What is it? I don't know what you're talking about the dog. If you have any proof of that or even what you're talking about, can you send it to me? Nah, bro, I've never ran a mile. Did you not take, like, high school gym? I was so bad at the mile in high school, bro. It was, it was embarrassing. <sighs> you can phone it in, bro. Being sick sucks. I, You know what, random non-sub? I, I do appreciate that. Bro, the, the new highlight video, Cringe You Drink, one that came out a few days ago, was, I was watching it today. It was so funny. I hate, I hate belly laughing at my own videos. <laughs> but, God damn it, I was. Uh, Hurricane Ball Bag. Thank you for the for the five subs. I appreciate it. I think you and Hassan. I think you like. I think you'd like Hassan, and Marxism. Fuck corporate. I've heard. See, here's the thing though. I've I've I watch I watch leftovers despite disagreeing with a lot. Um, but I I watch it because I find it interesting. And uh, Hassan has said things about like what he, how he feels people should be paid, that I disagree with so much. That I almost feel like I should just avoid the conversation entirely. So while I hate corporate everything, I totally hate it all. Uh, I do think there's a line that that Hassan goes into where I'm like, okay, I hate that too, though. I hate that a lot, like a lot, a lot. So I don't. Th but I want to be clear. I don't think you guys are wrong for believing what you believe. I don't. I think I just don't care. Is that fair to say? Anything specific? I don't want to misquote him. I really don't want to even get into it. I don't care. I don't. It doesn't bother me. I think that's not the stream. That's I, my interest isn't that either, right? If Hassan had a really hot take on like CS:GO float, you know, stuff, yeah, we'd be we'd be, it'd get heated. But I don't think that's my area of interest. You know what I mean? If if Hassan was like, dude, the Dragon Lore is insanely overpriced and overvalued by the community, I think we'd have beef. Right, we. That's where it's like, okay, well, let's talk, let's figure that out. <coughs> Hassan is a fool. Listen, I didn't like Hassan years ago, but I think him and I have reconciled, and I would not at this point in time call him a fool. All right. Um, <coughs> Hassan is a Navaha knife enjoyer. <coughs> oh. 
I hope not. <laughs> so, okay, I got. Hold on. This is gross. I got to That one was gross. And you guys are thankful. <laughs> uh, bro, what the fuck's wrong with you? So I'm sick. What? I'm sick. I started watching five years ago. Our you what? Oh, that's so cute. 11, 11 this year. All right, so less than three. let's talk about the story hey, that I'm going to lose chat on because I don't care anymore. I'm curious if you got the wrong address for those alimony checks. I know you are good for it, so just call me back when you get a chance. Wubbeep, 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 wubbeep. Let's go. Uh, uh, 25 uh. months. Thanks for the good times and risky jokes. Don't tell me to go Daddy. to sleep. Don't tell me to go to sleep. Fuck you. <laughs> so, um, sticks are good for sushi because the wood doesn't have the metallic taste or coldness, but that's the only reason to use them. I had udon today and I had to eat it with a fork. And I'm gonna be honest, Chad, I wish I had chopsticks. <laughs> I wish I had motherfucking chopsticks. <laughs> Guys, listen, when you hear me, when I, listen when I say this, okay, you can visit Pity City, all right? You can visit Pity City, but don't, you don't get an apartment there. Like, bitch, we don't have an option, okay? We can't afford rent here. We have to move into Pity City. You're not paying us, bitch. Poggers! I already spent the money. I already spent the money! <clears throat> God, how much is too much money, dude? Like, for real, though. Like, her bonus is is so such an astronomically high amount of money to make what are you even doing with that on top of her salary and how many years has she been getting it to but you think she deserves it i think if if the company's doing great <clears throat> i think she gets to make that call herself but if the company's doing bad no i don't think she deserves it not at all anyway okay so let's talk about here we go guys let's piss off the whole chat here but you know what i am i Chat has been very cool to me today, and I feel like chat has been nuanced today. Okay, so we're gonna be, we're gonna be, we're gonna talk here, and I'm gonna talk about something that's so tired. But you know what? <clears throat> there is one aspect to the story that I found funny, and that's what we're gonna get to. So you gotta let me land. Billionaires should not exist. Uh, that's an interesting conversation. I think I don't know how I feel about it to be honest. I think in most cases you're probably right. All right, <clears throat> and I don't know of a case where you're wrong. So I don't know. Um, so peanut today put this on my radar, not my penis, my radar, not my penis. Uh, he said, Hey, Wubby. Cause I told him, Hey bro, we're scrapping the thing. We're moving it to next week. I'm sick. I'm like, do you have any reaction videos you want to send me? I could just do that. And then we you know on stream and he goes, you should talk about, uh, the Cleopatra movie. And I said, I'm like, what? What? I don't even know what that is. What are we talking about? And he's like, well, uh, Jada Pinkett Smith will smith's uh will smith's son's friends fucker uh is making a netflix documentary about the egyptian queen cleopatra uh so i have we're gonna go over that because i want to show you guys so apparently there's a big controversy uh about it so here we have uh jada pinkett smith and she's doing this netflix doc oh oh my god that is that is a. Uh, that is Emperor Snoke, actually. Fuck. Sorry, sorry. Here she is. So she is making a Netflix documentary. By the way, I hate this woman. Everything, I don't know her personally, but everything she has allowed the public to see of her, I hate. I, and I don't use that word lightly. I hate this woman. I don't know how she's given any voice in the public anymore. She seems awful. She seems insufferable. She seems abusive. She seems... Just the worst of everything I could imagine. Uh, <clears throat> and not to mention, she bald. No, <laughs> me locking my door for Will. Uh, but anyway, that's not what we're talking So I didn't know about this story. Peanut <clears throat> put this on my desk today, about an hour before stream. And I kind of got lost in it because I was so fascinated. So she fucked her son's friend. Very, very, very bald behavior. Like, 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 it, scare, like just strange behavior. Um, and God, what she, she, her, the whole will. Th anyway, okay, who cares? I'm not gonna get involved in that. So she is making a documentary about Cleopatra for Netflix and a trailer got released that has caused quite a bit of controversy because Cleopatra in this documentary uh, is black. 
they've 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 portrayed a historical figure uh, as uh, black. She's black in this documentary. So now, uh, it's a doc it's supposed to be based off true, fully based off true events. So it's causing a lot of uh, some people are pissed. It's not a documentary. Fine, label it what you will. It's 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 a it's a it's a telling of the true story of Cleopatra. So. Uh, <clears throat> I didn't know any details about it, so I looked into it. Now I want to be clear here. This is this is something that I think is a tired conversation, right? I wouldn't have brought this up. In fact, I don't bring this up anymore because I do think two things. One, I think it's a tired conversation, and two, uh, I think that you can't have a conversation about this anymore without you getting put into two camps. Okay, one side says, "Well, you're woke if you're okay with it." You're woke and I'm and you're done. And then the other side says, well, you're racist if you aren't into it. If you're not okay with it, then you're racist. And I've tried to have this conversation on stream before. And I will say this. Let me address both people. There are people out there who want everyone, everything. They don't care. It should all be this race. I think that's weird. And I think that's woke. And I think that's embarrassing. On the other hand, I think 45-year-old white dudes getting mad at Ariel being black is also stupid and embarrassing and probably comes from a place of racism. Now, that being said, <clears throat> let me give you what I want to say here. The only, I haven't really ever cared. Uh, Cleopatra, I don't care about either. I want to talk to you about the one thing I do care about. The only time I did care, and I got booed off the stage on this stream, was when The Witcher, I found out that Triss, the character that I liked a lot, that's the one I wed in the game because I'm gay and I like red-haired girls, okay? She was being portrayed as a darker complexion. I think, I don't know who she, I don't know what race she was. And she had dark hair. And I was like, what the fuck? I actually love this character and they've totally changed her. And I, it, it bothered me, right? I didn't care what she was. She just wasn't the Triss I knew. I was like, what the fuck is this? And it pissed me off. But I think that's really the only time anyone should voice anything, right? If you are a diehard Little Mermaid fan, maybe you're a girl who grew up with Little Mermaid and you're obsessed and now you don't identify as much, I think it's fair to say, like, that's ah, annoying, whatever, right? And to the people who say they don't care, I think that's also totally fair. But the reason why I'm talking about this is because the director of this fucking uh, film on Netflix is so delusional. And in this interview she gave to uh, Variety, I want to go through it right now because I want to... This is so delusional. It's insane. And I do think you're sounding better. Thank you. I'm getting passionate. Uh, the I just want to read this too. So if you guys don't know, Cleopatra, by the way, Egyptian queen lady, used her cunning and her sexuality and her smarts and her ability to speak f well, to rule and manipulate. Ultimately, things went south. She was Greek. Yeah, she's Greek and Egyptian and maybe Iranian. I don't know. Definitely like an olive bitch, you know, definitely olive, definitely not like white, but definitely like, I don't know, suntan beauty. She has some banging fucking titties on her too. Uh, definitely not black, definitely not like white, uh, uh, but whatever. Uh, here's what she looks like in the show, just so you know. I, again, I don't have, I said, when, when Pina brought this up to me, I went like, well, I don't really care because like, I'm not a fan of Cleopatra, but apparently... It's, it's going really bad. Apparently, people who do care, like people who this is historically relevant to, like Egyptians or people from that part of the world who this is a historical figure to them, uh, they're kind of livid. And I'm going to be honest with you. I, I, I think that it's fair for them to be. Uh, here is the... So here's what I'm... Here's the frustration from my perspective. <coughs> the uh, not really fair of them. But like, how? who are you to tell... Would you say that about a different race being mad? Like, would you be like, you don't get to be mad? Uh, first off, here's the ratings. Negative 300,000 Netflix turned off comments. And I'm sure there are some 40-year-old white men with no horse in the race being like, this is fucking blackwashing, da 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 But like, at the same time, you really got to ask yourself, okay, we're making a movie about a historical figure here, you know, who has historical relevancy to the culture she came from. Uh, I wouldn't be so bold. 
to do that. But actually, that's not true, chat. I am going to leak something here. I am going to leak something because I'm fully on team Black Clea Blacktra. Okay, I'm fully on her, her team. I agree with that. And I did get permission to show it today. Okay, I am going to be in a new movie. Uh, and I'm kind of excited. So here, I'm going to just show you the poster. So this is something that I, I can only show. I can't show the trailer, but I can show this. So this one. Uh, now, if you, if you guys, hold on. I'm seeing people might already be having a problem with this. Uh, ask yourself, what's the problem with a white Malcolm X? And I'm quoting the uh, the director. The uh, is it the the director? I don't know who it is. I'm quoting the, the Pina. Was that the director or the producer? She's like, what's the pro? What? Ask yourself, what's the problem with a black Cleopatra? The director. The director gave an interview that I will read to you guys here in a second. Uh, do you guys like it? I think it's gonna be good. I don't see anything wrong with it, right? Because really, chat. To quote you guys earlier, who cares? It shouldn't matter, you know? It shouldn't matter. But hold on, hold on. This one's even better. Because I also think we should elevate, you know, who, why do we need another white voice? I don't think we do. So <clears throat> we're also going to do another one here. And this one's big. This one's by Netflix. And I don't know if I'm allowed to show you this one. But um, we have Wanda Sykes's The Life of Adolf Hitler. I think that at the end of the day, it's about who is best for the role it's about elevating black voices. It's about elevating, you know, putting people in the spotlight that should be in the spotlight, not necessarily, you know, I, I, history has been whitewashed. <clears throat> and it's time I think we take it back. This has to, someone in chat just said this has to be fake. Bro, you think Wanda fucking Sykes would ever fake this? Are you kidding me? <clears throat> Hold on though, so. Like I said, I'm fully on her team. I agree. I think that historical figures, we should be able to mix, match. I don't think it matters. I'm fully on team woke. I don't think it matters. Cleopatra could be blue. I don't care. I don't think it matters at all. And that's exactly what I'm saying here with these two images. Big shout out to Alex for whipping these up <clears throat> 10 minutes before stream. Uh, but before we continue, I just want to read you this interview she did because it's just so funny. This is the only reason I wanted to even talk about this on stream today. <clears throat> so, uh, Queen Cleopatra director speaks out. So the director, uh, uh, what bothers you so much about a black Cleopatra? Well, if I had to guess as someone who's not really bothered by it, the people who are bothered, if I had to guess, it's because she's a historical figure that you've just completely changed. And and the and the only reason you can give is, what are you racist? That's the thing, right? When I the only one I've ever cared about was a character that I was a fan of, Triss, right? And when I said, hey, can you explain why? The only answer I got was, well, if you're asking, you're racist. So then I go, okay, I'm done asking, right? <clears throat> a character that is made up and isn't real, but Cleopatra's. Oh no, brother. Hey, brother, I got news for you about Cleopatra. Oh, brother. Brother, I got news for you about Cleopatra. Oh, but who's going to tell him? Who's going to tell him? Oh, boy. All right, so there's there's just little nuggets in this interview. I read this before stream. And, the, and I hope it, guys, if you're one of the people that say you don't care, I respect that. I think after reading this, you're gonna, your eyes are going to roll out of your fucking head. <clears throat> She's not real like the dinosaurs. Okay, so this is an interview with the director. Uh, last summer, I was living in Venice Beach and decided due to a friend's persistence to vis visit a fortune teller. Me, ever the skeptic, but game for a laugh, agreed to go along. What fortune teller said to me, roll my eyes. I'm not saying you are Cleopatra, but somehow you share her story <laughs> and are connected. Boys, I'm telling you, this is a gold mine. Okay, so uh, less than a month later, I got a call from a production company making Jada Pinkett Smith's African Queens. Okay, blah, blah. So she was, this lady was hired. So this a little bit about the lady. that I believe this is her. This is the director. <clears throat> She's born in Iran. She is Persian. Ah, salam. Uh, and Cleopatra's heritage has been attributed at one time or another to Greeks, the Macedonians, and the Persians. Uh, the facts are that she is a Macedonian Greek family. Okay, whatever. Uh, after 300 years, surely we can safely say that Cleopatra was Egyptian. She was no more Greek or Macedonian than Rita Wilson or Jennifer Aniston. Both are one generation from Greece. Okay. We following? Okay. Okay. 
Uh, doing research. <laughs> here we go. Here we go. Here we go. This is where chat. She is going to just. This is a clown. This human being is a clown, dude. Just watch. I did. Like I said, I don't care because I have no ties to Cleopatra at all. But this interview is so clown makeup that it's. It. We have. You know what we can do? We can just laugh. I, we can. I and I. I honestly want to know if you guys think it's as crazy as I do. <clears throat> Doing research, I realized what a political act it would be to see Cleopatra portrayed by a black actress. What? What does that mean? Like, genuinely, what the fuck does that mean? <clears throat> For me, the idea that people had gotten it so incredibly wrong before, historically, from Theta Barra to Monica Belushi, and recently, Angelina Jolie and Gal Gadot in the running to play her meant we had to get it even more right. So we did something totally different. It's like, what? What? What's happening? She went full retard. Yeah. The hunt was to find the right performer to bring Cleopatra to the 21st century. And the right performer was the wrong performer. <laughs> like, like, so we flipped the script. <clears throat> Okay, so here we go. So here's where she posed the question. Why shouldn't Cleopatra be a melanated sister? I can answer that as someone who doesn't really care because she wasn't. I mean, like, so with that, with that response that I just gave, what is your response? Like, and I'm not, guys, I want to be clear here because I know you can, you're already going to say, Wubby, I don't care. I don't care either. Okay. But this is funny to me, right? Why shouldn't she be a melanated sister? She wasn't black. She wasn't black. That's why. Because you're making a thing about a real person who means a lot to real people. She was, that's why. That's the, there's your answer. So now, the, now you have the burden of explaining why you've made her black. And if you give a reason, I don't care. Cool, then. If there's a good reason, then tell me. Because you're making... Okay, let's continue. And why do some people need Cleopatra to be white? <laughs> <laughs> Bro, <th> <coughs> uh, I don't think we do. Uh, I don't think we do. I don't. I, it's just it's like I don't know. I need it, guys. I need it. Where's my Where's my Wanda Sykes as Hitler? That was that goes so hard. Uh, her proximity to whiteness seems to give her value, and for Egyptians, that seems to really matter. I can't imagine why. <laughs> I think this interview is just so condescending, you know, like I feel like she could have done this so much better. Like, I feel like we need to bridge the gap because I can totally be <clears throat> thumbs up for getting more black actors and actresses into positions of, of big roles and whatever. James Bond, black. I don't give a fuck. That's whatever. I, you know, I just think there's this is this like almost pompousness about it. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, after much hand wringing and countless auditions, we found Adele James actor who could con who can convey not only Cleopatra's beauty but also her strength. Well, the historians can confirm. Okay, yada yada. Uh, 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 well, there was one other thing I wanted to read. Uh, the, uh, the HBO Rome series portrayed one of the most intelligent, sophisticated, powerful women in the world as sleazy dissipated drug addict yet egypt didn't seem to mind where's the outrage then but betraying her as black well i think that's because not a lot of people know too much history about her and i, I don't know if she wasn't sleazy i don't know anything about her in that way I, like i said i don't have a horse in this fucking race <clears throat> uh okay here we go this is what i wanted to read uh while shooting i became the target of a huge online hate campaign Egyptians accuse me of blackwashing and stealing their history. Listen, lady, to an extent, you did do that. Now, let's be, you have every right. It's your movie, but you did do that. You did do that. And that's, let's be real. Uh, some threatened to ruin my career, which I wanted to tell them was laughable. I laugh in the face of these fucking people. <laughs> I was ruining it very well for myself. Thank you very much. God, it's just like so high. <laughs> no amount of reasoning or reminders that Arab invasions had not yet happened in Cleopatra's age seemed to stem, seemed to stem the tide of ridiculous comments. Amir, in his bedroom in Cairo, wrote to me earnestly, 
or to earnestly appeal that Cleopatra was Greek. Oh, Lord. Why would that be a good thing to you, Amir? You're Egyptian. <laughs> oh, Lord. oh, Lordy. Oh, Lord. <coughs> Guys, I'm telling you, I did not care about Cleopatra being black until I read this, and I went, this lady... I don't care. Make Cleopatra just as bl like the so dark, but get this lady off the thing. I don't even care. Make Cleopatra a black man, you know. But but get this lady out of the director seat. You know what I mean? And here's where we get. Here's where we get. Uh, <clears throat> now it's uh it get ready. It's almost as if we don't realize that m misogynoir noir misogynoir. Uh, which I had to look that word up. That's like a, it's like misogyny against uh, black women, I believe. Still has an effect on us today. <laughs> See, this is it right here, though. This is the point, right? If you even find this funny, <laughs> open the misogynoir. If you even find this article funny, well, it's because you hate black women, chat. So we need to liberate our imaginations and boldly create a world in which we can explore historical things. <laughs> without fearing the complexity that comes with their depiction. Wanda Sykes as Hitler! I'm pushing it! I'm screaming through the cold, baby! This is it! <coughs> this is it! I agree with her. Wanda Sykes as Adolf Hitler. I'm here. Where's the photo? Where's the photo? We need to flip the motherfucking script. She's not wrong. She's, in fact, she's more right than she's ever been. Here it is. Hold on. Alex got it again. Here we go. Boom, boom, boom. I'm quoting her. Wha okay, listen. Let's read it again. Let's read it again right now for everyone in the back. Okay. We need to liberate our imaginations and boldly create a world in which we can explore our historical figures without fearing the complexity that comes with their depiction. Ladies and gentlemen, the life of Adolf fucking Hitler... I'm telling you right now, tell me this wouldn't be the best fucking show ever. Tell, I'm t bro, maybe even the, the, the Asian dude from fucking uh, The Hangover could be Hitler. Oh, my God. Dep this is, you're telling me you wouldn't watch this, though? You're telling me you wouldn't? Oh, my God. It's, I'm proud to stand with Queen Cleopatra, a reimagined Cleopatra. I guess, I mean, like, listen... I don't want to be I don't want to be called a racist. I just want an answer that isn't I'm racist as to why she was made this way and not a pompous douchey fucking like well it's because it's like can you just talk to me like I'm a human seeking information please. Um uh we reimagined a world over 2000 years ago where there was once an exceptional woman who ruled. <clears throat> I need my inhaler. Sorry. She sounds racist. I would love to play Rosa Parks in, in, in a movie. That would be hype, wouldn't it? Could you picture me not moving on? The, oh, no, no, no. Get, get, get half, half. What's his name? The big dude, the guy who played the mountain. Get him to play Rosa Parks. He's just sitting in the back. You know? I will not move. How sick would that be? Right? Oh, my God. I would like to draw a direct line from her to the women in Egypt who rose up in the Arab uprisings. See, chat, you don't understand. This, you don't, you, you don't, you can't keep up with her level of intellect here. Never before has it been more important to have women leaders, white or black, but more importantly, black. <laughs> like, dude, I, I'm telling you guys right now, Peanut is the one who showed me this today, right? And I did not have an interest in talking about it because I know where this conversation goes every time. And to me, it's kind of a boring conversation at this point, right? Her interview was so delusionally confident that uh, uh, I had to talk about it. I'm sorry. I had to talk about it. It's just so ridiculous. It's just ridiculous. Okay, there's you guys are referencing other times where other people played other historical people. I think it can work. I think there are times like I don't like I said, I don't have a problem with I, let me let me make my point very clear and in a one minute clip so you can send it to all your friends so you know how I really feel. I don't care if Cleopatra's black. I don't have any ties to Cleopatra, okay? Doesn't bother me at all. Like even slightly. I think the director is kind of smug and kind of a douchebag and kind of not good at bridging the gap, so I think she should work on that. 
I also think that if Egyptian people or people who have historical connections to Cleopatra want to be mad, I think they have every right to be without being labeled as racist or ignorant. And that's my full opinion. And I, that's the only reason why I brought it up. I also think that <clears throat> people who have connections to fa fantasy characters that get changed should be allowed to be annoyed by it without being racist too. And that's that. That's that. I don't have any connection to Cleopatra, like even slightly, guys. I, can be honest with you? I thought Cleopatra was a character from Scott Pilgrim until today. Okay? So I don't give a fuck. I don't give a fuck if she's black. I, dude, she could come out there blue with wings. I'd be like, who the fuck is this bitch? I don't care. Are her titties out in the movie? Does she have good titties? She probably has small nipples. It's probably why they picked her. And cool. I like a good dark small nipple. I'm there. Okay, I don't care. Right? The point I'm making is that I think that we need to... Th this creates divides. Not her being black, but the director going out in a fucking variety interview and just being like, fuck everyone else. Egyptian people, you guys are fucking retarded and you've been eating too much sand so you can't keep up with today's culture. All right. And if you don't like this shit, then you're fucking racist too. Right. That like, lady, how about you get up there and like bridge the gap? You know, hey, I understand. I can understand where these people are coming from. Yada, yada. Let me explain to you why we picked this woman and why she's the best for the role, actually. Like, she came out and her audition brought us to tears. And like, why not say shit like that? Why do you got to make it so. Why are you so stupid, lady? Like, why are you so dumb? Danny DeVito for Gandhi. <clears throat> She's, yeah, she's woke grifting, right? Did I use that right? I just read that from chat. I'm sorry. <laughs> Fucking Cleo Yaptra, am I right? You're so right, and you're so smart. <clears throat> anyway, uh, I thought you guys might find that interesting. I found that shit interesting. <sighs> anyway, all right, what else do we got? I'll just say this. Okay, you guys, apparently, this was the top of my subreddit too the other day. Apparently, you guys got mad at me. Because, you know what? By the way, chat, before I check the subreddit and see how uh, mad everyone got at me, can I just say that, chat, you guys uh, were not awful today. <laughs> you guys l heard me, and you didn't get mad at me for bringing up the race thing, in, in, and it's crazy. But now I'm going to check the subreddit. <clears throat> Okay, I'm sorting by new. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Black woman viewer here pitching in. Here we go, guys. Get ready. Okay, first thing I have to say, I'm holding it in for years. I fucking hated that L was cast as a black man in the live action Death Note. Wait, L was a black guy? What the fuck? Wait, L was black in Death Note? What? Is that true? <laughs> okay, hold on. Now, now I want to be clear. Chorzo. I have, uh, this is, I am reading a comment from a proclaimed, from, a, from someone who in their title said, I'm a black woman weighing it. I'm going to their profile. Show me your skin. Okay, definitely a black woman. I'm on their profile. <laughs> She has a photo of her helping me open cases with her black ass hand. All right, here we go. <clears throat> uh, it sucked that he was cast and it didn't really need to do that. Anyway, to Wubby's point on stream, I think my only co contest contest is if people can make such a big deal about Cleopatra Terra Terra being miscasted as black. Uh, where was all the noise when she got miscasted as a white woman? I didn't even know there was another Cleopatra. And I'll tell you right now. I'll, that's also fucking stupid, bro. Listen, if it makes you feel better, let me be very clear. That's so stupid. I don't, dude. If you're casting a historical character, make it look like a historical character. Make it look as close to as the historical data as we have. Uh, you're saying, someone said we weren't alive. It was in the 60s. Yeah, I don't know what to tell you on that point. So, sorry. We're at a different time now. We're in 2023 where you sneeze on one side of the planet and it could be on my desk in a fraction of a second. So, this is a kind of a stupid point. I, you want me to be up in arms about a movie from the 60s? I don't care. I don't know. What do I say about it? Uh, which is like every Hollywood movie. Okay. Well, which Give me a movie. I'll tell you if I think it's stupid. I don't know. I don't. Th this one is just the one that reached my desk. Uh, it's like no one really cares when someone white gets overcast in a role. Can you give me some examples? But uh, no one can stop talking about it when someone of color gets casted as someone white. Is Cleopatra white? 
Can we, can we pause? Can we, is Cleopatra white? Uh, I don't, I wouldn't have described her as white. So that's what's also confusing to me. This feels like a, this feels like a issue in the East. You know what I'm saying? Crazy thing that Cleopatra in this historical movie, the same way as they did in Austin Powers. Wait, what? <clears throat> uh, okay. But that's just my simple take. I can't think and type over Wubby's yapping right now. Shut up, bitch. You're annoying. What the hell? Yeah, I mean, like, listen, okay. Uh, uh, here's to, you're saying that why don't people keep that same energy? Um, can you give me an example? Because I'll, I'll be the bridge right now. I'll be that for you. Who, who was cast that was a big Netflix, huge AAA celebrity? This was clearly a black person that was cast as white, or this was somebody more ambiguous that was cast as white. Can you give me an example? Because I'll condemn it. I think that's dumb. Jesus? W when was Jesus cast as white? I've never seen a Jesus movie. <laughs> Jesus, the man Jesus. What about him? John Wayne as Kangaskhan. Yeah, that sounds cringe. That sounds really stupid. I don't know what that is, but that sounds really dumb. Uh, Ghost of the Machine. What was that? Is that who? See, I don't know any of these. It's not that I'm blind to it. It's that I react to what I know. I can't react to something I don't know happened. I think it's a fair point. People should get outraged about things they want. To, and that's fine. Uh, <clears throat> if it was fiction, it would be one thing. But this is. Yeah. OK, so how about how about a nonfiction one? Because that's kind of what we're talking about right now. And it's I'm pretty sure there was outrage for Ghost the, the Ghost one. That's Scarlett Johansson. And she was supposed to be like Japanese, right? I feel like there was outrage to an extent. So I don't I don't know what you mean. Uh, what, uh, what about like a historical one? John Wayne is Genghis Khan. Okay, but when did that when? Okay, I got to ask you. When is that from? What year is that from? If this is about to be some old ass grandpa movie. Bro, this is a 1956 film. Guys. I need a, you guys are fucking morons. I'm sorry. The guy's saying that. I'm, yes. And by the way, I would probably uh, wager to b believe that. Yeah, I think most people view this as offensive. So this actually helps my point. I think that most people look at this and go, whoa. <laughs> what about Hamilton? What about Hamilton? I don't know what, ha what happened in Hamilton. I have never seen it. Tom Cruise as the last samurai. Is the last samurai, was that a historical figure that he was playing? Yeah, it's fucking ridiculous. I would be annoyed. I would be annoyed seeing Tom Cruise as a fucking samurai, but it's not historical. So why are we talking about it, chat? So I guess the point I'm making is, I, if she's making a point about that, I'm um I'm really I'm down to hear her point, but I don't know. Uh, and it, oh, here we go, guys. Here we go. We got some screens from the leaked movie. <laughs> okay, this would actually go hard as fuck. Dude. <coughs> why is this actually kind of sick though? <laughs> That was backwards. Yo, she looking kind of bad, bro. Short circuit. Indian guy was a white dude in makeup. My brother in Christ. Okay, first off, is that is that a uh, historical movie? That's what we're talking about. Two. Also, like people, I saw people mention Tropic Thunder. Yeah, Robert Downey Jr. did blackface. Uh, it was a it was a joke. Like it was part of the the. It was done in the in the name of comedy. That's totally different. <laughs> Guys, I need a modern movie. I'm talking last five years. Bro, what is this? <laughs> Ooh, that's so funny. Ah, uh, okay. <clears throat> Latina woman here. Here we go. I'm on the subreddit. Latina woman. Why are Latina women representing more? Just kidding. I don't give a fuck. As long as they're accurately represented. All right. Thank you, Latina woman. Go on. Continue to shake. You're doing great. Go off, queen. Go off, you twerk queen. Alexander the Great and Cleopatra were white as fuck. I don't think... Okay, let's let's define white here. They were, they were pale, but they were definitely like... Uh, they... they <sighs> They were pale, <clears throat> but I don't know if they were, can we agree they weren't black? Greek is white. You know, no, I know, but I wouldn't cast me. You guys get what I'm saying? I would cast like my dad. Do you know what I mean? Like, give me, give me a little more 
all of. Maybe change his hair, right? But I definitely wouldn't cast this chick from the subreddit. You know what I'm saying? I wouldn't cast Obama. <laughs> Actually, again, though, I think I would. I think I would. <coughs> oh, I've just farted. Oh, no. Uh, can you make a modern story based off of it if they were pale? No, I'm not the right white, I think. I think I may have just pooped myself, too. Trying to find white is ridiculous and the perfect microcosm for the absurdity of this issue. All right, guys, this is where I'm going to bow out of the conversation and let you guys fight about on the subreddit for the next 24 hours until I go live on Sunday for Media Share. By the way, Media Share is this Sunday. Please, please be there or be square. Thoughts on the body cam FPS thing? I'm going to show you guys that. That's such a good talking point. Wow, the Cleopatra thing gave me like a whole um, new energy. And now uh, it's dying and my head is hurting, but we're not going to stop. Disney is ruining Cinderella remake by casting Obama as the lead role. <laughs> Bro, I don't even... <coughs> I don't even care anymore. Like, really. Like, Tris was the first one that I was like, this is so annoying. And then now we're at a point where I'm like, fuck it. I don't give a shit. Just, just make... I don't even... It doesn't matter. Like, dude, it doesn't even matter to me. I just want Obama as Cinderella. I want Obama as Snow White. I want Obama as the Seven Dwarves. I want Obama as Cleopatra. I don't care. <clears throat> just make it good. Make it good. Dude, I've been watching uh, the show Beef on Netflix, which is with Glenn. I don't know his real name. And some other lady. And I've just been trying to enjoy it. But I just keep screaming at my TV because there's too many Asian people in it. You know? Who, who feels me there, chat? You know, I keep sitting there going, why wasn't a white man cast in this? <laughs> Do people literally believe that? Are there people that watch TV through that kind of a filter? Are there really people out there like that? Maybe I'm so sheltered I've never come across those people. I got to say, by the way, the Glenn, the, yes, there are. That's crazy, bro. My dad, your dad sucks, dude. I got to say... <clears throat> Steven, Steven, you went, you, you went, he is a fucking great actor, by the way. My God. I don't even know if I like the show yet, but he's been, he is fucking, I want to see him in more shit. And Yun, Steven Yun, I, I don't know. I've only seen, I, <coughs> I feel bad calling him Glenn, but I want to see him in more shit. Cause he's, he's killing it. Hated the show. Loved the performances. Yeah, dude, I'm three episodes in and I don't know how I feel about it. All right, you guys may have seen this. I saw this on TikTok, but this is... So what I'm about to show you here, this is good reaction content, by the way. So every... I would say there's a few moments in my life, and I'd like, chat, for you to share those moments with me now as I share them with you. Turn to the person next to you. Shake their hand. Okay, I'm passing around the collection plate. You guys know what to do. As I pass it around, take a moment to meet the person next to you. Okay? And uh, as we do that, I'm going to share a story. Uh, every... A few times in my life, I'm so alone. No, you're not. You're here with me. Okay? Now give me money. Uh, every, every few, a few times in my life, I have been blown away by video games. There's only been a few moments, but when they happen, you remember them forever. I'll give you a few examples. <clears throat> Super Mario 64 was, it felt like magic to me. Thank you so much, Red Baron, for your contribution. Thank you for the fight. It felt like magic. Super Mario 64 felt like magic. I remember... The first Crisis game felt like magic. Call of Duty 4, the helicopter crashing on all gillied up, felt like magic. Anybody got any good ones? for? Oh, dude, Half-Life 2, there's a few, right? The first time I, I play, paid it, play, play, the first time I played a Bethesda game, I was like, whoa. Games can, be like, fall, like, I played Fallout 3 and I was like, games can be like this? Halo 3, there's a few, right? You get a few a year, maybe, maybe one or two a year. Um, but one thing that happens once every, God, maybe 10 years is you go, you, you get wowed at graphics. And what I'm about to show you guys, you probably have already seen because it went extremely viral. But, okay, hold on. I got I to gotta blow my nose and I don't want you guys. And I will say, as I've gotten older, as I've gotten older, the um, the amount of times I've been blown away by a game 
is getting less. And I think it's because the standards are higher and because I'm older, right? The most recent one I would say for me was Elden Ring. When I got my teeth into Elden Ring fully, I was like, this game like matters, right? Now, I'm not saying that this is what I'm about to show you, but here we have a jump in graphic capability that has kind of floored me in a way. I haven't been floored in like a decade. Okay, you guys ready? What I'm about to show you, you've probably already seen it, is uh, is uh, from a video game that's coming out, and it's called Unrecorded. It's a photorealistic body cam game. This is not footage. This is a video game. <laughs> To the people saying this is fake, the uh, creator of this, like, I guess it's more of a tech demo. The creator of this uh, showed the dev tools and he was like no clipping through the walls and he was shooting randomly to show. It's real. It's, it's, or it's not real. <clears throat> you saw Peanut showed this? I, I'm sure everyone's already talked about it. I just haven't been live since it was revealed. Shots fired! Shots fired! Holy, it looks, but like, okay. I saw this originally on TikTok. This is my first time actually seeing it on a computer. You can kind of tell it's fake, but when was the last time you said something you could kind of tell? When was the last time you said something kind of tell? I could identify a video game in about a fraction of a second. When I saw this on TikTok, legitimately, I thought I was looking at body cam footage. And then I saw something wonky happen with the body and I went, is this a fucking video game? <clears throat> is this a video game? This is crazy, dude. God, the way he like loses control uh, when firing the pistol is so... Scary. I, I just got here. Yeah, we're watching police body cam footage right now. I mean, you could tell it. Like, if you really get up on there. But look at this. Looks so real, bro. <laughs> <laughs> schools in 2050 gonna be like <laughs> <coughs> the dev said this was played on mouse and keyboard i thought this was vr uh i think you'd uh i think you'd think it's a game a lot sooner if the animations for the body cam and guns weren't so realistic oh dude I know they're firing on all cylinders here, right? They got it's like Tarkov esque, like super realistic, even more so than Tarkov. Um, I just, I guess, I guess what I'm saying is, I guess I didn't realize we were here. You know, I didn't realize we were here yet. It's kind of scary. That when I was on TikTok, that's when I was like, wait a minute, this isn't real. <laughs> It's like you, I watched a minute and 35 of what I thought were people getting killed. <laughs> <coughs> oh, that's so funny. Uh. That looks a little wonky, but even, I mean, goddamn, though, does it, though? This, this is real, dude. It's like a playable tech demo. Sure, but like, did you know tech was here? Because I didn't. Look at that. No, no, that's real. That's real. Okay, now now we're starting to see, I think, where it kind of falls apart a little bit. This, this guy looks fake. Where the fuck is Oscar? Okay, all right, all right, fine, fine, fine. But up until that point, it's fucking crazy, dude. Where is Oscar? <clears throat> crazy, right? So I know Trainwrecks put out like a thing on Twitter saying like, let's let's see what he said. Let's not let's not let's not mince it here. Yeah, where's Oscar? 
me when I lose the biggest award after being nominated? <laughs> Where's Oscar? <laughs> oh, that's funny. Me after watching the... Uh, and I'm not going to make it worse. Okay, hold on. Uh, uh, what, did, what did Train say? <clears throat> Hassan read Train's comment too. Yeah, I'm late to talking about this, but guess what? You can kiss my balls. <laughs> I don't know what you guys think of it. Uh, where, where did he? Uh, God, he tweets so much. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Okay. So train said, let's take a look. What do you guys think of this? Uh, uh, why does anyone care what train has to say? Uh, uh, well, how about we should look at it first and then you decide if you care. Okay. How about that? How about you let me fucking die? All right. I'm listen. My brain's moving slow. All right. Kiss my kiss my bulls. All right. He said, I'm going to get a lot of hate for this chat. Get ready. We got to get ready to be hateful. I'm not going to read this unless we can agree that we're going to hate it. Why don't you just fucking die? Dude, we need the Walt Jr. gets shot in the face cut. I'm going to get a lot of hate for this, but this level of realism in video games should be heavily moderated. In first-person shooters for anyone under a certain age. Um, I hope parents do their job in this level of realism for shootings and killings make me feel uncomfortable as if I'm watching a real leak from military or police operation. The clear distinction between fake and real is necessary, but this uh, level of realism, in my opinion, gives real credibility to the nonsense politicians have been spewing for years. Okay, so what do we think about that? To lose... A sense of empathy toward violent tendencies and situations. Okay, so that's his fear. Rare train W, L take. See, I, look at that. We got a split chat. What do I think? That's why you're here, right? <coughs> it is. Okay. Um, What do I think? I think. Yeah, I agree. I, w, oh, Pokelos, what's up? I think. I think it's a W take. I think. I think the. 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 The devil's in the details with this, though. I think that... <clears throat> I think that... Uh, what does he mean? Like, what age are we putting on this shit? You know? Are 18-year-olds... Because, because okay, currently it's 18, right? Or 17? Let's say that game is rated M. You can't go buy it unless you're 17, 18, right? If you make it higher than 18, are you, gonna, are you implying that a kid can't play this game but can go buy a gun? You see what I'm saying? So that's, that's the conversation that I don't want to have, <laughs> you know, that's, that's, I remember when I was like, dude, I couldn't buy LA Noir. I think it was or some, I don't know, some game. I got stopped at GameStop because I didn't have my ID or so. This was, this was so long ago. I got stopped at GameStop for some game. They're like, you can't have it. I was so, I'm like, what world is this? Same, right? Isn't that crazy? How embarrassing. <laughs> <coughs> I don't know. I don't know what age you put on. <coughs> Sorry. I don't know what age you put on something like this. Because if you make it higher than 18, then you're literally saying that kids can go buy real guns, uh, but can't play this shooty game. And you know what's crazy, too? You know what's going to blow your fucking mind here, kids? Uh, this is nothing. Give it five years. Give it 10 years and it's not, it's going to be indistinguishable. I mean, it's going to be worse. We're going to, dude, imagine the porn. Imagine getting fucked in that warehouse. Oh my God. That's all I, I wouldn't go fucking kill people in these games. I just want to fuck women consensually in virtual space. If they're 18, they can go see actual combat and actual warfare. Like, oh, did you get the new game? Nah, it's 21 plus. I'm just going to enlist. <laughs> <laughs> oh, here we go. We got a new new poster for the uh, Pay Money Wubby documentary that's actually being made. <clears throat> See, I would love this. And this would make a lot of some of the early scenes a little more bearable. You know what I mean? If this was how I was... Like, if, we, if Kenroy was going to do a documentary about me, this would make, like, the early career documentary... Like, makes so much more sense. <laughs> uh, anyway. 
All right, my brain hurts. <clears throat> you guys are really running with the Wanda Sykes as Hitler thing, and I kind of love it. I'm glad you guys are as obsessed as I am. It's so funny, isn't it? If for whatever if for whatever reason I get into a position where Netflix lets me make a, a documentary or something about Hitler, on on my life I will put all of the budget into getting Wanda Sykes to do it. <laughs> it's so funny, uh, bro. Wanda Sykes is such an icon. Shit's so stupid, but it's a trash. Atriocly funny. Did I say that word right? Atriocly funny. That's a weird word. It reminds me of that tragedy. <laughs> <clears throat> Here's another trailer that I saw that gave me those feels. What uh what I have not seen this. What is this called? Senua Saga Hellblade? The fuck is this? I've never even seen this. This is timestamp too. What is this shit? Varric. The fuck is this? What the fuck is this? What does this have to do with anything? Bro, we do have to censor this shit for kids. We can't have kids using grow rays to become the size of tall buildings and lighting themselves on fire. We absolutely have to monitor what these kids are seeing. You guys want to look at child po? What am I watching? Why did I click this? Did you see how that thing- Wait, is this gameplay? Wait, wait. Oh my god, this is gameplay. Wait, what? I just saw this guy like kind of bug out and snap into his animation and I went, that's kind of bad for a trailer. This isn't a trailer. Oh. 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 Bro, our kids are going to be fucking around in Unreal Engine 10, bro. Oh my god. I just want, listen, any world where we get to have sex with Riley Reed is a world I want to live in. In a video game. In a video, literally in a video game. Unreal Engine really does like, <laughs> this sounds so stupid. Yo, Unreal Engine does rocks really well. <laughs> you know what I mean? They did, they, <clears throat> they got rocks down. They got cliffs down to a fucking, they got it perfectly. All right, guys. All right. I think it's time to say, I'll see you Sunday. I think it's time to see, I'll see you Sunday. Here's Obama with tits. I could leave you with that. I want to say real quick to the chat who stuck, stuck around for tonight. I want to say, first off, thank you. I know that, is this AI generated? I think it is because the hands. Um, I know that it sucks that I'm sick and I'm ending and I do apologize for that. I'm sorry. I know I can't help it, but thank you guys who stayed and watched and were patient with me. Um, I will be live on Sunday with Media Share. I hope to see you guys there. Uh, I'm looking at the subreddit right now. <laughs> okay, nobody's being mean to me. Thank you guys, I can't take it. Um, Poggers! Thank you, thank you. Telling chat stories of Creator Clash and hanging out with General Sam, yapping about chopsticks for almost an hour. Why do you, why do you watch stream, okay? There was a comment in this thread. There was a comment in this thread that was like, uh, yeah, I kind of wish Webby didn't even do High Left You Lose and just talk to us the whole time. And I was, I was sitting there reading that. I'm like, bro, if I did that, you know what would have what, been on the subreddit that day? Why did Webby come back to stream with no content? <laughs> I just rest up. I will. I'm on. I'm on the upswing. I will say that stream does take it out of me, though. I'm exhausted now, but that's okay. I wanted to make money, so um, <laughs> someone donated twenty dollars. This Gamba streamer, who also pushes crypto, has a problem with video game violence. Oh boy. Oh boy. That's true. Oh boy. Oh boy. I'm sorry. I read that one out loud. Oh boy. Oh boy. Get your vitamin C. I did. I can I tell you guys, I had a uh, Jamba Juice today. I haven't had a Jamba Juice in probably a decade because I respect myself. But I got like a. I didn't want to eat. I wasn't hungry. My appetite down. 
Um, uh, but I got like a vitamin C, zinc, Jamba Juice booster bullshit. It tasted like medicine, but it it, it felt it was good. It was actually pretty good. Uh, all right, let's open a CS:GO case. Wubby's right testicle. Thank you for the uh, five. Let's open a CS:GO case. Let's end every stream with a CS:GO case. Chat, which case do you want me to open? <coughs> what case do you want me to open? Chat, I'll open a case. I'll open a prism. All right, we're open not cobble. You guys, okay, donate a thousand dollars right now. To open a cobble. Are you kidding me? Open a cobble. Where do you get off? Tell me to open a cobble. Thousand dollars right now. Open a cobble. Okay. Until then, prisma. And you know what? I'm happy with a prisma, or a chroma too. I like both those. If I open this, okay, chat. Let's do the math. If I open a case at the end of every stream, how long till I get a knife? Dwayne just gifted a hundred subs. That is not a thousand dollars, and that's very nice of you. Very nice. But but okay, that's but the Twitch does take a cut. We're not on kick yet. Hundred weeks <laughs> in two years, you guys will be tucking your kids in for bed and be like, "Honey, what we did it? <laughs> what we pulled the knife?" All right, I gotta buy. I don't have any cases currently. Let me see what I got. Let's see what I got. Uh, <clears throat> Dwayne, thank you for the hundred. I appreciate that. You're you're stupid. <laughs> you want Prisma too? All right, let's get a few. Let's get a few. We'll get a few. We'll do a quick little unboxing here. How about that, boys? Does that sound fun? Oh my god! Like everything is down though. Like this, every, like Steam is having so many issues. All right, all right, all right. We'll, we'll do a few. We'll do a few. We'll do a few. We'll do a few because um, the stream got robbed today. All right. Let's do Chroma. If we pull a knife, I'll show you guys my testicles. Bro, the case prices are absurd. Are you kidding me right now, dude? The case prices are out of this world right now, bro. Oh my God. <laughs> Lowest price case is 99 cents. I remember when cases were $3. Or I mean, three cents. <laughs> You ever just set up a joke and then just fucking abort it in front of every just I mean just absolutely nuke the joke. No, you never done that. Trust me, Chad, it's really cool when it happens and everyone always when it happens, everyone always goes, Wubby, you're so cool for you know being real with us and letting your jokes fall flat. <clears throat> okay. I got my keys purchased. I think we're ready to go here. Are you guys ready? I got eight cases, eight cases, one for every year of this stream. Huge 18 viewer raid. What's up, new viewers? I'm glad you're here. Drop a follow, okay? All right, how was stream? Was it exciting? Almost hit the 20s. Next time, baby. I'm proud, that's hype. Hopefully you guys, uh, you know, keep it up, you know? All right, hold on. I got to change my... Hold on, give me a second. Give me a second. Hold on, I got to change my... Uh, give me a second. Hold on, I got to... Give me a second. I got to... Um, give me a second. I got to change my... Uh, give me a second. Give me a second. I got to change my... Uh, give me a second. Give me a second. I got to change my... Um, give me a second. All right, we're in Counter-Strike. Here we go. All right. Look at this Chinese shit, dude. <clears throat> All right, so we got eight cases. Let's start with the let's start with the prismas. Let's get these out of the way. If we hit gold, I'ma suck my dick, okay? And then I'm getting off and I'm doing media share on Sunday, okay? Here we go. Here we go. Fuck it. Fuck it. Here we go. Here we go. I can't. Okay, here we go. This is gonna be it right here. It's okay. I don't even think I pulled. Ooh, it's that track though. I don't even think I pulled a red on this stream, which is crazy because I've opened so many cases. Purple, take a stat track, perp. I don't want anything for these cases except gold. That's fine. That's fine. Always check the float, boys. Sparkles just unboxed the number one stat track float in the world. It's already up to like seven grand. Just a random purple. All right, here we go. Come on. Oh, by the way, I'm I'm live on uh, I'm live on Monday this week. I'm live on Monday this week. All right, that didn't work. Cool. Okay, we got five more. Here we go. Ugh. Uh, I don't want any of these. If I pull this, I'll give it to chat. If I pull this, I'll give it to chat. I don't want them. I just want I just want to fucking unbox a knife, dude. I don't even probably keep the knife. 
I don't want the knife unless the knife is fucking incredible. You're garbage. You're garbage. You're garbage to me. Kill yourself. You're done. All right, let's continue. When does the Lord of the Rings magic set? In like a couple months, I think. Actual junk? You're telling me, bro. Come on. Come on. Come on. Oh my God. Trade up chance? Y'all are so positive. <laughs> I, I respect it. I respect the hype over a trade up, but it's dog shit. Oh my god. You know what we'll do? We'll do five cases at the end of every stream. How's that sound, chat? Five cases means we cut down the time by one fifth, or by four fifths, or by Cleopatra, whatever her name is. All right, here we go. Come on, come on, come on. All right, last one, right? Last one. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Sure. Yeah, whatever. What, what were we talking about on stream today? All right, here we go. Ready? Three, two, one. You guys just made a really racist joke, and that is not what I was saying. Fuck all y'all. All right, shake it. Here we go. Shake it. Click with a nose. Here we go. I'm ending stream. I'll see you guys Sunday for Media Share. Don't forget, get your videos ready.